We just released Greylog version 2.2 and we're here to talk about the new features. So let's get started with the alerts functionality. Yeah, we uh, actually made a lot of changes there. So um, in the old Greylog releases, you would always find all functionality related to alerts under a stream. Um, that could make it really hard to, first of all, get there. It was always a few clicks away. And it was really hard to get an overview about the alerts in your system. So we listened to your feedback and we introduced a new um, top level navigation page for alerts, which is listing all of the alerts. Uh, no matter what stream they're in, all of the alerts you have access to, obviously. Um, and um, also you can click on alert now, get an alert history, and get all kinds of information related to that alert. Um, also another new feature that we introduced is stateful alerts. That means that if an alert has been triggered, you will be notified about that once until the alert state is no, or until the alert is no longer in an alerted state, so that you won't get during an alert, you will not get a new alert every minute coming in. Um, that is very helpful for alert fatigue and also should make notifications through email or in Slack channels, for example, much easier. So I would say we just look at the functionality right now. Yeah. So you th see that the uh, first biggest change here is that we have, like we mentioned before, we have the alerts here as a top level navigation link now. Right. And if I click on it, you'll see that we get an overview of all currently unresolved alerts. I can still manage all my conditions across all streams like we did before, but always bound to one single stream. Um, at least in the, uh, in the navigation, it's, it's still an alert condition, it's still bound to a stream, but we can now get an overview of all the conditions on one page. The same here for the, um, for the alert notifications. And if I go back, you see that I can also click on a um, on an alert and I'll get a timeline for it, which notifications it triggered and which messages it looked at like um, or which messages it looked at and um, those messages then triggered the alert. And what about the most requested feature in the history of Greylog? Yeah, this is a good one. So um, since I think I started the Greylog project back in 2009, 2010, um, we've always heard about this one feature that everyone asked for, and we finally built it. Um, so we are uh, we're now supporting different retention times based on a stream. So imagine you have a stream that is collecting all of the firewall messages, and you have a stream that is collecting all of your uh, all of the users that have logged in or all the login messages basically to your platform. Now the firewall messages will have a way bigger volume, right? That's going to be uh, that can easily be terabytes a day, while the user logins will be much less. Um, and we have heard from a lot of people that they want to keep the firewall data for, let's say, four days, but keep the user login data for three months and then use the archiving plugin to archive everything. Um, and that is something we're supporting now. Um, this works through a feature called index sets, which are um, sitting on top of streams. So for every stream, you can now configure a specific Elasticsearch index configuration for, for replicas, for shards, for example, and handle the data differently based on, how it's, based on what the data is that is coming into Greylock. So you can also say that the, um, the firewall data, for example, doesn't need replication, so you're going to save a lot of disk space. Um, this is all stuff that you can do with it, and I would say we just look into it in a little screencast. So in, uh, in previous versions of Greylock, if you clicked on System and then Indices, then you would get this overview of all Indices in your cluster. Um, this is different now. If I click on Indices now, it's going to start with an overview of my index sets. Um, you can think about an index set like you uh, would think about different index configurations um, uh, for different streams that are sitting under it. So um, in, the, uh, in the introduction, we talked about having a different retention time for firewall messages. So imagine you want to keep your firewall messages for three days and all the other data you want to keep for 60 days, for example. So um, you will configure the default index set um, to, uh, 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 to keep data for 60 days, but now we could create a new index set for firewall messages. We are just going to do that. Um, just right here. Uh, we have to give it a name, obviously. We give it an index prefix. Choose this one. Um, we can configure a different analyzer. We're just going to use the standard one here. And pretty cool is that we can also define different shards in a replica, replica settings. That means that if you're saying that, yeah, usually all my data I want to keep for, um, or, or I want to replicate to at least one other node or multiple other nodes, but for firewall data, it's really not that important. Um, you could configure this differently here. I'll just keep everything on the, um, on the, on the standard settings. Um, and I'll now go in and say that I want to keep um, indices with, um, uh, or every index should keep one day of data. 
and I want to keep a total of three three indices here for this uh, uh, for the firewall index set. That means that um, Greylock is going to create um, uh, three days of indices and the moment you hit the fourth day it's going to start a new index and then delete the oldest one. So this is the exact same retention settings and rotation settings that have always been in Greylock. It's just now you can define multiple of these settings and then apply those to streams. So I'm going to save this now. You see that we got a second um, index set here for all firewall messages. Now I just have to configure my stream that is already already catching all firewall messages. We got this right here. Configure this. Uh, go to edit stream and say don't write the messages into the default index set where they would be kept for 60 days for example um, and they would have replication. No, write them into the firewall messages index set um, where they're only kept for three days and we don't have any replication. Hit save and now Greylock is going to start to do this automatically for you. And what else is in 2.2 that we should talk about? So there's, of course, like in every release that we're coming out with, there's really tons of bug fixes and small improvements. Um, a few other things that I would actually definitely mention um, is that we made a lot of improvements to the um, collector, uh, to the sidecar of Greylog. Um, that is a feature that is used so much out there that we got a lot of feedback, so we incorporated that. Um, that's a lot of UX functionality, and most importantly, we also we can now, um, you can go into the web interface and you can restart remote collectors. Um, from the web interface. That's a pretty cool feature. Um, our pipelines are finally in GA. That means they're stable now and we definitely recommend that you start moving off our extractors. Um, read our blog post on the pipelines, um, read the documentation about pipelines, reach out to us if you have any questions. But this is the way to go in the future and we'll, we'll step by step start to deprecate the um, the old extractors functionality. The pipelines are simply way more flexible. Um, they are faster. This is where we put all the development time into. So. It's time to, uh, time to move over to pipelines, definitely. And we at Greylog want to thank you for your testing and support of the project. Yeah, it's out now. The new release is there. It's on the downloads page. There's a blog post. There's upgrade notes. Should be pretty straightforward to upgrade from previous versions of Greylog. Um, all of our official installation, installation methods have been upgraded, are available for the new release now. And um, so I would say just try it out. Um, let us know if there are any questions, if anything is unclear. Um, the documentation has been updated and um, also please let us know if there's any functionality, any features you would like to see so we can build those into future versions.